Welcome back. Now on to Stranger Things. Actress Wema Sepetu says she misses how Diamond Platinum, not just any other guy, Diamond to be specific, used to beat her up because she loved it. I mean, as bizarre as it is, she is not the only one. But like I said on the show, and I'm saying it again, this isn't a let's laugh at her type situation. Healing needs to happen. Help needs to be given. Someone that also needs a lot of help but also some serious chastisement is Councillor Luderat. He is known for being a careless and offensive talker in Ghana. And Juliet Ibrahim has had enough and wants, to be and wants him to be arrested and used as a scapegoat for rubbishing the plight of a rape survivor. This response came after he said, it's even a bit hard for me to repeat, but he basically said that la some ladies like enjoy it while they're being raped. I mean, it's just absolutely sick. Please take a look. because I loved it. This is coming from actress Wilma Sepetu. Um, she said, and I quote, he would beat me up thoroughly. Ironically, I loved it when he battered me. I just don't know why that was the case, but I remember he would pamper me after assaulting me. And I think I loved it because he'd give me attention after the battering. Honestly speaking, I miss being beaten up by him a lot. End of quotes. And this is coming from the actress. Let me put it again. Ah, mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why she said, honestly, she miss being beaten. Not just being beaten by him. Mm. That's that's the problem. Mm. But okay. There is a, a a percentage of women that are like that that mm -hmm. like being um, abused, and it it fascinated me. So I've done a lot of like Wait, knowledge sure. absorbing, trying to figure out because I don't have any idea of how to even think like that as a person. And there's so many things that I've come across, but for her, based on how she sounds. One of the things I can say is that she's minimized the idea of abuse. And I can only, um, uh, what's it called, give that to maybe the fact that she's been exposed to violence on an earlier or before. And I, don't, I know people are going to come from, especially Nigerian parents here, but even beating your children or if you're beating your wife. I know you, they beat you, you're fine, but not everybody works like that. And we've been able to see some connections in regards to that. You've obviously been exposed to violence. If a girl has never been touched in her life and then she entered a relationship where the man slapped her, she would not love it and miss it so much. That's one. Second thing is that a lot of women are actually addicted to drama. So you find that a lot of people don't like normal, healthy relationships. They find it boring. So the idea that, because I don't know how you have other things that you're doing in your life, like building each other up and striving each other and loving each other, that beating has even gotten involved. So obviously there's something lacking in your relationship and you find the beating and the loving afterwards as a means for you guys to bond and you don't have any other way to do that. So in that way, it's sick. If in this situation now, in this scenario where you, we've actually established that the percentage of women that enjoy being abused, um, would the man also be called an abuser of in course. that? Of course. Okay. Of course. You see, that's uh -uh. the problem because of that question that was even asked. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, we are also encouraging this narrative. I'm not talking about us on the stable. I'm talking about the Men. people that even, no, the people that are even promoting indulge the story them. or indulging them or even listening to them. And so all we that. should disregard them yeah, because we, there we, are we, people, you know the women what who would, I mean, I have met, this is not just about this. Right. This is not just about this story now. Even while I was in secondary school, like, I, like that. I mean, there's a girl who said if, if the guy doesn't beat her, then he doesn't love you know, her. You know, you know, there are we're people like about, that. I, so I don't know how would you categorize the man who indulge in that kind of um, showing of love. And you it's, get, still, I, I, it's I, still definitely an abuser because you see, the thing is, the two, the, some, people, some people's flaws work well together. If I'm a mumu, for example, I would work very well with an exploiter. Mm. My intentions to be mumu is different from why you want to exploit, but they, but they help each other. Hand. They work, mm. okay, they so work I don't, together. I think it was Pexy when we were having the rape conversation, right, that said that um, even Nollywood kind of promoted rape with the way that it looks like the only way to enjoy sex is even is only when you're in pain and stuff like that. So I think when like... You're even, yeah, when you're cajoled, when you're in pain, when you're pushed against the wall and stuff <laughs> like that. Which Nollywood, Which Nollywood did that? That was what Pexy said. I'm just saying, I think it was Pexy who said that, right? No, he said no, his the example way it was, was portrayed. Yeah, yeah, not way, this kind and of the example he gave of that was the mommy or mommy push for okay. one yeah, it was, okay mommy. so let me just come back to the story now. The guy you are taking him out of context so okay. that was important sorry about that that <laughs> took him out of context so now let's come back to this story that mm -hmm. even the bloggers that are promoting the story and writing about it because there are a lot of women that 
deep inside they feel like this is not normal. I'm not supposed to like this kind of love. But the moment they see one story and they're like, oh, go, sister. So I, I have... I'm pretty sure that's not the case, Ife. This is, this is very, an, this is like an because abnormal. Because this lady has left the situation now. Yeah. She's still talking about no, it. No, I'm never, missing it. There are a lot of ladies it's, right it's now that they still Because this is going against human nature. Nobody, no one wants to be hurt, Ife. Nobody. Really? If you, yes. The if people you, that are interested you, in BDSM, if, most people that's want not, that, to That is consensual. It's a very different situation. What we're talking about is abuse. No one wants to be hurt. If you have that, then they this trauma. lady, this this lady doesn't want to, to be hurt. I, no, I'm saying that. No, she will stir up a drama that you can just so that you can beat her. I'm mm -hmm. saying for this girl, she has trauma that is projecting itself like this, and it's not normal. So a normal girl cannot be stared. So she needs alert. to be helped to it, yes. understand yeah, why she her thinks value, that way. Right? Yes. Yeah. So I don't think a normal girl would sit down and be like, "Oh yeah, I like this. I also want to be abused." Like I I'm don't talking think about somebody who, who like is already, already in an abusive, in an abusive relationship and be like, "Okay." I'm so pretty sure. And then she's like, "Okay, so my my man does the same thing." Every time he beats me, he showers me with gifts. It's always I get what you're saying, but we cannot we cannot shut narrative we cannot we shut people like this down from telling their story because someone else um, has a mental yeah. issue that they've not dealt with. Right, we'll, we'll probably help that person get uh, get help mm. and also make this person understand that being abused is not fun. It can never. I just be don't like where they all at their full stop. Like after saying this story, they just I think you should continue by saying say no to. Um, domestic violence or okay, something, something to yeah. do you understand? The, yes, I just don't like yeah, where they yeah, all yeah. add their full stop. They mm. just stop their, they just stop their story. I think a lot of people are actually story. mocking her and finding mm -hmm. it amusing, but you said rape victims sometimes enjoy the act. Mm. They should be arrested for real. Mm -hmm. They should be, and. Um, this just shows that he has some type of experience or he knows mm. somebody who, yeah. I know, I'm, I'm, or he knows somebody it's who's done this actually. and has confided in him to say that, oh, at some point while I was raping her, she began to enjoy it. So if you know this thing, you need to expose that person or expose yourself. So he mm. needs to be arrested, questioned, because this is like the most stupid thing I've heard anyone say. Now, I feel like even if you have the slightest idea that the rape victim is enjoying it Wh why won't you think that okay maybe it's because she's just trying to protect herself she's tired of being beaten she's tired of being forced she's tired of being and she just has to fake it so that you can leave her alone what about the psychological trauma you're going to leave this person with for the rest of her life have you thought about that so which person wants to be taken against their own will Mm. It's just that simple. If you have that type of sense, if you can even think that alone, then you will not open your mouth to say this. So obviously, he doesn't think. Mm. It's just that simple. I, I, it's a counselor that doesn't think. Mm. And there are people that go to him for counseling. I pity them because they don't think. Mm. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm almost very certain that it isn't that the victim gave them an inclination that they were enjoying it. I think they just assumed that, that they were enjoying it. Um, or maybe they watched a movie. Maybe. Because, because I've mm. seen this play out in a movie. In a Nollywood movie, actually, that the lady was raped, and she was like, oh, this guy was the sweetest, uh, since uh, the husband doesn't do it the way he did it. I mean, that's a movie, actually. So, <laughs> it's oh, very God, sick. I mean, I'm, I'm, <laughs> what I know is usually you get to fight or whatever, and then you let go, like mm -hmm. it's happening. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen... Mm. Um, 13 Reasons Why it was a very good example of, mm -hmm. of that. I don't want to use any human person. Mm -hmm. So 13 Reasons Why is a good example. You let go. You're not going to fight for how many other minutes. And you're there to let it happen because you don't have a choice. you can't wait till it's over. If that person then interprets that as, as enjoying, that's on you. I have never seen, and I know quite a lot of people because, I've, as you know, rape and violence is something that I've, you know, I'm interested in trying to help people and all that type of stuff. There's too many people that I know that I, I don't know anyone that has said, oh, it was actually really nice because you're forgetting that it's, sex is beautiful. Sex is nice. But the way it was done is what's not nice. Mm -hmm. So it's not that, mm -hmm. it, it, it's kind of like twisted that you don't think like that. It, I don't know if you remember when you were younger and then they say you have to eat this food. I didn't like eating, so I understand that. When you're eating the food, it's not like I know the food is bitter. The fact that I'm being forced to eat the food is what I'm concentrating on rather than the pleasure derived from the food itself. The food. So if you are that sick of a person to interpret the person's vulnerability and helplessness as them enjoying it, it just even um, 
I guess even reiterate the fact that you are actually very sick. And that's a, a strong word from a rapist. I would be very surprised, very, very surprised if this person has never raped someone, even if it's statutory rape. Or he's not constantly raping someone. They, like, I'll be um, very surprised. But from what this conversation and this mindset just brings me, I'm sorry I'm taking it all the way over to the boy child mm. or the man when the conversation of the possibility of them being raped come up and you hear a guy saying, ah, but you enjoyed it. Mm. But there, there's also a part that says, so if you do not enjoy it, I mean, for a woman, it's going in. So a man, how exactly did he get an erection mm. to be raped? And that conversation was so stupid. deep at some point where they start analyzing how a man can have an erection without being conscious. Yes. You know? A man so, wakes up with an erection. You know, exactly. So it's that, that conversation is kind of deep and weird. And especially when you tilt it to the boy child as well, or for the men as well. So. Like you said, I don't know why anyone would think this way, but um, the counselor needs a counselor mm. right now. And so my people come out to say he's a fake counselor. I am sure you enjoyed the roundup because I sure did, but it is a wrap for today's episode. If you did enjoy these topics, though, as much as I did, then you can catch us on all our episodes of Tea Time on our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Also, catch the TSAM crew live on Monday to Friday at 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. on GSTV channel 408 across Africa. Once again, my name is Ifeo Mai. Ciao.